Let's create the shopping mall of our dreams and let's add some custom trades to villagers. Forging fabric courses with advanced topics such as entities, custom structures and three armor models linked in the description below. All right, we found ourselves back in Intelligent once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom trades to villagers. Now, this is actually a very straightforward thing to do. It doesn't require that many different things. Now, what it does require is a new class in the event package. So we're going to start with this mod events. And this is going to look very similar to the mod event bus events from the last tutorial. We're going to add dot mod at mod dot event bus subscriber mod id equals tutorial mod dot mod id and then we're going to need to use the villager trades event so this is going to look kind of like this i'm just going to copy this over now all of the code is of course available to you in the description below github parser in individual gist as well now your question might be what goes in here well i'm going to show you two different examples of this adding something to the farmer and to the toolsmith and you're going to be surprised how easy this is. Once again, of course, all of the code is available for download. And now on to what this is. So in the event, we're basically checking which profession currently is being loaded. And this, you know, you can just basically change this to anything that you would want. You know, we're going to just keep it at the farmer right here. And then what you do is you get all of those trades. So those are in an int to object map of list of item listing. This is just craziness. Let's actually sort of be like, okay, we're going to ignore what this actually is because at this moment in time, this doesn't actually matter too much. For us, it's just important. Okay, this saves all of our trades. Then in the stack here, we're basically saving what is going to be returned. In this integer villager level, well, we're basically saving the level that the villager has to be in order for this trade to be added. And then we're just saying trades.get with the particular villager level. And then we're adding this whole craziness right here and the way that this works the merchant offer right here is also not too crazy to understand the first item stack that it has there's different sort of variants of the merchant offer the first one is if it has two item stacks like this one right here then the first item stack is what you have to basically give up so this is the emerald in this case two emeralds for 12 cucumbers this is the second one so the second stack would be the thing that you get back and then you can see we get max uses. So this is how often you can actually trade this offer. This is the experience that the villager has. And then you also have a price multiplier right here. What you can also do in the merchant offer is there's another constructor here, as you can see, where you actually have two different item stacks. And then those would be both costs. So this is something where, for example, if you wanted an enchanted item, you know that sometimes you can give up an axe and some emeralds and then you get an enchanted axe back that is something that you could use for that for example and i'm here for the toolsmith you can see this is villager level three and then here we're adding a citrine pickaxe for 12 emeralds right here and that's pretty much all that there's to it and that is literally all that you need to do you just need to add this and then it already will work the actual event will fire and then you will add stuff to it if you want to add multiple ones you know more ones you can just duplicate this change the profession to whatever profession you want and then just go completely crazy and add stuff to it. You can, of course, also add multiple ones to the same profession. So, for example, I could, you know, duplicate this as well and then add another one, for example, also at another level, right? This all works. This should be fairly self-explanatory with a little bit of Java knowledge. This should be pretty much just already, you already should know exactly what to do. But as you can see, very easy to do. And just for completion's sake, let's also see if it works. Or I found ourselves in Minecraft and of course I've already prepared some villagers right here and you can see the farmer right here selling cucumbers for exactly two emeralds and you also saw how much experience they got so of course you know best thing to do is basically to try and play around with the numbers a little bit and then I believe this one there you go has the citrine pickaxe right there that we can get and we can only get this four times and then the trade is done because as you can see this is basically the number that we've given, right, the max uses of this particular trade, but everything working exactly how we would expect it to, and really freaking awesome, really freaking cool. That's how easy it is to actually add some custom trades to villagers. And that is already it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate your like, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.